Hi, my name is Jeff Schwartz. I'm Vice President of US Engineering for Checkpoint Software. Many customers ask, what's Checkpoint's vision? Perhaps there's no better way to articulate that vision than to highlight some of the challenges that organizations face relative to security and operations and how we're delivering innovations that address some of those issues. Um, from a, just distilling some of those problems down to general categories, uh, they fall into, let's say, three different uh, buckets. The first of which are problems related to scale. Uh, the first issue that organizations face related to scale uh, are tied to DevOps or delivery of agile IT. Put simply, more changes uh, more quickly by uh, uniquely uh, distinct and discreetly separated pieces of the organization in an accelerated time frames. And this is affecting every piece of the organization, including uh, security operations, uh, application development, among many others. Um, and traditional IT service delivery is in direct conflict with uh, achieving some of these outcomes. Um, it takes weeks to deliver change control. It takes months or even quarters to deliver uh, new applications. Um, and it, the existing service delivery model and chain uh, is, is, again, in, in direct conflict with, with achieving some of these outcomes. The second area uh, relating to scale that organizations face are tied to the threat landscape. Putting my Captain Obvious hat on for a moment, uh, organizations faced increased volume of threats uh, with tremendously uh, increased level of sophistication. Um, and just uh, citing some, some details uh, relative to that, uh, if you subscribe to the Verizon Breach Data Investigations Report, year-over-year -year threats are increasing uh, at a rate of 40%. Um, and that does not make mention to the level of sophistication associated with each of those attacks. The second data point that's uh, relevant here is that if you subscribe to IDC, uh, year-over-year security spending is increasing at a rate of 9%. Uh, so when you put these two data points together, uh, essentially organizations are deriving less security effectiveness or, or less return on their investment from a security perspective this year than they were last year. Um, and this gap is uh, continuing to widen. This is a hard trend that we're seeing both in the, in, in the threat landscape relative to the volume and sophistication of threats, also relative to the security spend. Now there's a couple contributing factors associ associated with why organizations are driving less value and less security effectiveness out of uh, their security investments. Um, the first of which is tied to the continued proliferation of point solutions. Now, point solutions, uh, you know, are you know, organizations have evolved um, organically from uh, a stage where they have a problem and they buy a solution for that discrete problem, uh, and so on and so forth. And this has happened with sandboxing; uh, they buy a sandbox solution. Uh, URL filtering; they buy a proxy solution. IPS; they buy an IPS solution. And this continued proliferation of uh, point solutions has one uh, continued to exacerbate this gap in security effectiveness. But the second um, issue uh, related to uh, why we're, uh, why many organizations find themselves in this situation is related to the predominant focus uh, of technologies around detection. And detection-based services uh, are simply ill-equipped to address problems at scale. That if organizations face five sophisticated uh, security incidents uh, a week this year, next year, they, could pr uh, the, they can expect to have, let's say, 50 sophisticated threats um, in that same week. And without solving the problem with, with human capital, human capacity, and, and additional uh, headcount, organizations are forced to solve these problems in an automated fashion. And, and detection-based solutions uh, are, are simply poorly uh, suited to address this at scale. Uh, if, if security enforcement requires human intervention, it natively is not designed to address any increase in, in magnitude or sophistication. The third area as it relates to problems of scale uh, within organizations is uh, the number of touch points. So technology and application uh, service and service delivery is moving closer to the consumer, close, uh, closer to the end user, and further uh, from uh, the edge, uh, for, or further from the, the core or the traditional uh, data center environment. So this results in a wide diversity of implementations, that there's a number of endpoint technologies, um, as well as 
uh, mobile solutions that are required to address this space. Now, the issue is that uh, while many organizations have a uh, fairly evolved endpoint strategy, um, this is also uh, manifesting itself with, uh, with, with continued point solutions to the extent that system tray creep is a cliche in the industry, that uh, additional icons on the, the, um, on the desktop are um, continuing to provide this very narrow view of security. But while, while some of that has evolved on the endpoint, in the mobile space there is uh, a complete vacuum of, 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 sol of solutions that uh, organizations have adopted. And the issue here is that from a user expectation perspective, everything that they can access from their laptop uh, or traditional endpoint, they expect that they can also access uh, via mobile uh, platform as well. And the, the issue with this is that most MDM solutions um, have, have acknowledged that they're not providing real-time uh, preemptive, proactive uh, enforcement of, of um, security threats. So there's a, a huge gap of, of security exposure that organizations are facing as they move to bring technologies and services closer to the consumer or further from the core. So scale is the first area uh, with which organizations um, are, are, are struggling today. The second area is centered around infrastructure diversity. Um, and this relates to adoption of both public and private cloud services, um, obviously leveraging well-known uh, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, as well as software as, as a service-based solutions, uh, ranging from Office 365 to Workday, Salesforce, Dropbox, uh, AWS, Azure, um, and the list goes on. Uh, but being able to accommodate um, application delivery where elements of the application live in a widely uh, diverse hybrid of infrastructure elements uh, where you know the days of uh, application and service delivery uh, being contained by what lives within the four walls of, a, of the data center are a thing of the past. Moving forward all organizations are, are evaluating where and how they can evolve their um, agile services to be able to move quickly across um, a, a very broad set of um, infrastructure components. So, um, one of the founda foundational elements that uh, that is that is again contributing to the um, to the challenges that organizations are have have relative to more changes more quickly from uh, more more uh, um, unique and discrete elements of the organization is consolidation of security services. So the issue around consolidation of security services is somewhat foundational to these other issues because, uh, because of the organic evolution of, of where we've gone with point solutions and detection-based uh, um, technologies. So as we have more point solutions, it slows down our ability to react quickly. We have more maintenance and more operations and more care and feeding that needs to uh, exist specifically um, within the, uh, the technologies that are in use, but also um, the, the, all the changes necessary for application and service delivery that to deliver these things across um, in, 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 in some cases I had a customer um, share that they had 57 different security solutions. So making changes uh, from an application delivery perspective that is going to be congruent and not conflict with one of those 57 solutions requires many many checks and balances. It requires a lot of man hours of time um, and it's, it's prone to significant uh, um, conflicts within within the change process. So the 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 nature of, of having point solutions as a foundation is is one of the contributing problems um, to uh, delivering a consolidated security service model. But uh, secondarily, um, providing uh, detection based technologies uh, across the, the these technologies uh, also creates tremendous overhead on human intervention to make changes uh, within the environment when there is an incident. So these point solutions and detection-based technologies slow down delivery of, um, of, of services across um, the uh, varying infrastructure environments because there is a, a disconnected level of integration between them. So the big robust security stack that lives at your edge of your perimeter is not necessarily portable to an infrastructure as a service or platform as a service or software as a service 
uh, um, provider. So now there needs to be either native or uh, discreetly separate or new technologies that accommodate the security portability for these different infrastructure elements. But at the same time, that further slows down the ability to provide um, um, agile IT or move quickly um, in terms of rate of change within the organization. So this, this brings us to where Checkpoint's delivering uh, uh, innovation to the market. So our Infinity architecture is centered around delivering services across cloud, mobile, and network, but doing so with a unified security platform that provides um, consolidated visibility across threat intelligence and an entire view of what's happening within the environment, at the same time doing so with both uh, preemptive and uh, pre uh, preemptive both um, uh, pre-infection and post-infection technologies that provide uh, uh, an alignment with a defense in-depth strategy. So specifically, um, you know, there's, there's you know many vendors that uh, purport to cover cloud and mobile and network, but um, what I'd like to focus on now is some specific technologies that are unique uh, differentiators that illustrate that what we're doing uh, is, is, is providing uh, different security outcomes to our customers. So specifically, uh, as it relates to uh, DevOps, uh, we have uh, our RAD management platform. So this platform allows for, for dynamic delivery of, of, of services and applications where security can follow the application that the application owner can make changes and the security policy dynamically adapts to those changes relative to the tags that have been defined in the relevant service. So, um, and those changes are only affect that application. So, uh, how is this different? This is different because most other platforms or security solutions uh, provide uh, a monolithic access to the security policy that you either have uh, complete access to the entire policy or uh, no access at all. And what's, what's unique here is the ability to scope the, the nature of changes and that the security policy that can be modified by a given application owner uh, can only be reflected uh, with the scoped rules associated with that application. So that's one illustration of, of how we're delivering uh, differentiated outcomes. Um, in the space of, of uh, the threat landscape, we have many, many technologies that uh, we're delivering in this space and, and continue to, to deliver, um, but I'll focus on, on, um, on uh, just one for now. Um, our Sandblast technology in conjunction with uh, threat extraction um, is, is unique in a couple ways, but um, there's, a, there's an example associated with the NSA presenting uh, at uh, the RSA conference uh, a few years back. And they presented the concept of passing known good. And this concept is, is, is founded on the fact that uh, traditional uh, sandboxing technologies are necessary but not sufficient. And what, what they found was, uh, and, and they developed a solution for, is to instead of looking for uh, variants of malware or um, um, trying to find ev uh, evasions within um, uh, detonated files, and this cat and mouse game between evasion and anti-evasion, but to proactively sanitize all active content uh, that comes from unknown sources. Um, and the, the reason we, we came to learn about uh, their work in this space is uh, because th what they had built was not suitable for the rest of the federal government to leverage. Uh, they needed uh, an enterprise supportable off the shelf shrink wrap solution that the federal government can use that would provide equivalent functionality to what they had built. Um, and what they, what they found was that um, we were the only solution in the space uh, that were providing uh, the integration of um, a, a, a sandboxing solution, as well as this proactive sanitizing of, of content that we call threat extraction, um, in conjunction with the data loss prevention engine. Um, and their feedback was that we are not one or two years ahead of our competitors in this space, but that we are many years ahead in terms of innovation and the, the delivery of, of um, functionality in the space as it relates to um, sanitizing threats proactively. Um, in the case, of, um, in the case of, of addressing the scale issue with the number of touch points, we have, um, you know, as I mentioned, there's uh, uh, a, a um, near vacuum of uh, organizations that are addressing the mobile security threats and the surface area associated with uh, mobile security threats. Um, but we, as an extension of our Sandblast portfolio, we have Sandblast Mobile, which addresses 
um, proactively and preventatively threats that may exist in the mobile space across the operating system vulnerabilities, uh, across uh, um, uh, malicious application downloads, uh, as well as uh, providing network security from rogue Wi-Fi, among other uh, um, attack vectors. Within infrastructure diversity, um, again, where we're delivering differentiated outcome is, is centered in the fact that we're a software company. Um, there were many years that organizations um, wanted a hardware-based deliverable, something with an ASIC or an FPGA. Uh, but as I mentioned, the, the hard trend associated with uh, applications being delivered outside the four walls of the data center and that um, application delivery is centered around a software delivery model where elements of that application live in a very, very um, uh, diverse set of, of elements. Being software allows us to, uh, being in software allows us to extend our capabilities to these uh, different infrastructure types um, while still maintaining the level of performance optimization, uh, inspection optimization, inspection capabilities that you would simply not be able to achieve with a box. Uh, and, and the portability of that box to these different environments um, is also subject to vastly different outcomes relative to operational consistency. Um, and, and we're doing this with our, our, our VSEC uh, portfolio of, of products. So these are just some examples of, of how uh, our innovations are manifesting themselves with, within our products. Um, but from an architectural perspective, uh, these, these are the problems that we're solving for customers. Uh, but I invite you to allow us to come in to deliver a security checkup so you can not only see these technologies in, in real time, but see them in a contextually relevant way to your specific environment and the things that are happening within your network. Thank you very much for watching.